Hello friends, today we will learn how to write unit testing for coroutine. So, this is my uh, sample uh, data source class that I have created uh, which uses uh, coroutine. Uh, uh, and here we are, we are using the execute, I have written the execute function uh, which will make network call. Uh, this is in net this is the network call uh, it will make and update the, the response also it returns the same response uh, whatever it receives from the network so let's go through this uh, method and this class first uh, we are using with context the ma major thing generally uh, in coroutine that we Launch with uh, with context and uh, I have used the coroutine dispatcher here. Okay, so uh, this is one major thing uh, or a difference and also it is a suspend function. The keyword is suspend is here. So th these two are major difference. Now uh, can we write or can we run uh, any Su uh, suspend function inside normal function or normal method no we can't and the second one is the dispatcher how we can test with the dispatcher to achieve or, or to use test dispatcher in uh, the, the, uh, there is a plugin or uh, not plugin we can say the, the library is given uh, that is coroutine test uh, so I have included the coroutine test in module level build gradle and what it will give it will give me or give us a test dispatcher which we can use instead of the actual dispatcher like dispatcher IO uh, instead of that we can use the uh, test dispatcher now uh, I have created a class using that test dispatcher let's go through that I have created a coroutine test rule where I have passed this uh, test dis uh, test coroutine dispatcher and uh, this one this uh, test coroutine dispatcher is part of the uh, library the coroutine test library okay. and we need to override these two functions or methods that we need to uh, one is we are injecting or setting the uh, test dispatcher as its main dispatcher and also we are resetting it or cleaning up the uh, test resources for the test dispatcher these two are uh, uh, this uh, that's why we need to override one is starting function and another is finished function and another thing that uh, this, uh, this test coroutine dispatcher that is part of experiments and tell experiment data that, uh, that's why the annotation uh, I have given as experimental, experimental coroutine API otherwise you will get a warning nothing else see uh, if I delete it now this is the declaration is experimental and its usage should be marked with experimental coroutine API either in method level or in class level uh, that's why uh, we need to put this annotation the, and uh, as we have created this test rule which extends the test watcher and uh, overrides uh, this, uh, these two methods so we can use this coroutine test rule ok so our, uh, our class was to do data source class now I have created unit test class for the same this is to do data source test and it has here also uh, we are using the test dispatchers that's why we have marked as experimental co coroutine API we have unprinted otherwise you will again you will get warning here as well let's delete okay yeah we are getting the annotation or warning and 
here is the key thing that I have applied that rule. There I had created as a rule. Now we have applied in the unit test class. And uh, rest we can say that the to do data source it takes the dispatcher and some network report to perform its operation. It's a right regular way that uh, I have mocked use the mock network repo and the test dispatcher. That means whenever whenever I will run the execute method, then instead of running in the actual dispatcher, the it will get executed inside uh, executed in our test dispatcher. So one part we have solved that is for dispatcher. The second problem we had this is a suspend function we have, uh, we have used with context. As the suspend functions cannot be executed from normal function and here you can see the test execute method is normal function. So there is uh, another, another uh, block is given or scope is given that is run blocking test. It is part of the dispatcher or you can say the test dispatcher. So uh, I have uh, so write that method inside this block or inside this scope or inside the scope of uh, we can say uh, run blocking test. So I have written here and all the assertions or the verification will be written inside then only we can verify and uh, as I had mocked the network uh, repo uh, I have mocked the response here and we are ex expecting that uh, whenever the method will get executed means whenever this network rep uh, repo dot get detail will execute then it will return some mock bested response information and we are expecting that should be our result or return of the execute function that means we can verify against that mock response so this is the we can say mock or fake response that we have given and now we are verifying the result with that response or with the mock detail that whatever we have given okay now let's run it And uh, if you don't write that run blocking test, then you uh, your met uh, you cannot execute the, or, uh, the method, or uh, you'll get uh, uh, you'll get error in execution. Got it? Na? Now uh, the test is passed, but let's uh, remove this code from here and. Just try, try to call directly. Now you have got the error. The suspend function execute should be called only from coroutine or another suspend function. This is the reason that uh, all the su suspend functions can be tested by using or writing those things inside run blocking test and that that one uh, belongs to our test coroutine dispatcher rule this is test coroutine dispatcher in in this way we can verify our uh, suspend function uh, generally we use uh, coroutine and uh, suspends in uh, suspend function uh, in our network call and uh, this way we can verify our uh, network uh, responses or uh, data repository 
okay. and uh, to get get the source code go to my uh, uh, github link as mentioned in the description thank you